Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic of Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot as well as Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is your May 2017 mid-month tarot. This is for the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. I'm hearing Eye of the Tiger, I don't know the rest of the song, but you should go and look it up and listen to its words and read the lyrics about the Eye of the Tiger. All I know is it's a song about like uh, accomplishing and, and being courageous and brave and facing your fears. And so I'm picking up on that energy before I even get the cards out. So let's see. Let's source God. What is the message for these? Visualization. Visualize the win is what I'm hearing. We're going to let this one show just because it's sticking out. So the past. So visualization is very important to help you get past your past. Pouring your emotions into your visualization is very important. As a uh, for the most effective part of using visualization as a life tool is to uh, use visualization involving your emotions from an emotional standpoint. So it's important that you get into a high vibration, either about that specific subject or to be honest in regards to any subject at all. You could get into a high vibration because you're listening to the song Eye of the Tiger and you get super pumped. That's good enough. That'll work. It's about getting in the high vibration before you do your visualizations. Because the energy that you are emitting at the time of visualizing is the energy that you are pouring into that subject. And every subject is really two subjects, the having and the having not, the lack. So either you're focused on having or lack of. Your energy that you are emitting at the time will be your greatest indicator of whether or not you are lending your power to the having or the lack of. The Four of Cups is here for us from the Mother Peace Round Tarot. And it was in reverse. And I feel that for some of you it's because... There is opportunity in front of you that you're not willing to recognize at this time. There's some energy available to you to utilize, some emotion available to you to utilize. You have not been utilizing to its full potential. You have not been allowing it to flow. And this is saying, clear yourself of the energy of others. Allow yourself to dwell in your own energy. Um, what I'm hearing for you is it's not always beneficial for you to speak about your visualizations to your friends and family, to your co-workers or your associates or the random person on the street because it's not their vision, honey. They can't see it. They ain't supposed to see it. It's your vision. It's your vision alone. You're the one that's supposed to see it. You're the one that's going to get it. Teacher is your um, archetype card that's coming out for you at this time. The teacher card's light attributes speak to... Your ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skills, or wisdom. The shadow attributes say manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits, and destructive skills. I know my clients and my supporters tend to be the ones who are uh, high vibration. So I will say that you are using your ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. And I feel that in doing this, this month it's going to help you very much because as you teach you reaffirm to yourself your own beliefs and so that is one of the actual greatest blessings of teaching anything is the fact that you get that solid down into your conviction what you are teaching and you open up like that image shows there you open up the world to those whom you teach you open up a world of possibilities to your students. Now here's the cold part about it. Even in doing these readings, the teacher is always learning because how does the teacher communicate the information? The teacher must have learned. Now, as a teacher is teaching, sometimes the teacher is moved to teach in a different way to reach the heart of a different one. Every time you are also speaking these things and you are also hearing the things that you are speaking. Therefore, you are teaching not only the one that you intended to teach, but you are also causing some teaching to go on within yourself. 
you've got some beautiful cards here. We have number four of wands entitled Joy and Stability in this deck. We have the 21 Major Arcana, which is the world. We have Major Arcana number 18, which is the moon. I feel that uh, for you, you've gotten such stability in holding your frequency and your vibration. Manifestations are coming in in a beautiful way. And so many have begun to see how you've hold, held yourself vibrational in this place. And they're coming to you because you are the emotional master. And you've learned how to make those emotions flow and work on your behalf. And with this overview of understanding, you're opening up the world again. Even in this card here, we spoke about the world. And look up here, we have the world right above it. You're opening up the world of possibility, not only for yourself, but for those around you. But share your knowledge. Sharing your knowledge is, is uh, in your path and your journey at this time. Share what you've learned. There's somebody who wants to know. There's somebody who's going to be put in your path. There's somebody who will come to you, who, who will question you that you care for um or or even a stranger that will be in your path for you to teach what you have learned direct towards the solutions towards the answers towards the connection with all that ever is was will be or could be with this universe because you are doing just fine and you will continue to do just fine for yourself and following your intuition is always going to be relevant you will know who to talk to you will know who to share it with but somebody will be in your path for you to share this knowledge your best course of action is to maintain your emotional mastery and continue to live lavishly and in your abundance and prosperity that you've created for yourself. Continue to enjoy the world and all that it has for you. Your mind is in such a beautiful place. You have maintained stability. Here we have it twice, the number four here. Stability in your emotions, in making sure that your emotions are your own, allowing yourself to separate yourself from the emotions of others and hone into who and what you are, what you feel, what you believe. Using the energy of that to visualize your outcomes. What does your world look like according to your visualizations? Because you have the strong intuitive connection. Something is coming into its fullness. Something is coming into its fullness and it will be revealed to you. And it has something to do with your visualizations of yourself in lavish luxury surroundings as the emotional master. And, and so this is truly a powerful and beautiful reading. I would love to do your personal consultation for you when you're ready. My personal consultations are always by donation and my website has full details for you about that at lphtarot.com. Also, my website contains information regarding the custom Words of Clarity decks that are available for your use in, dur during your spiritual development at home. They help you in your prayers, in your pretending, in your understanding, knowing when to retreat, when to apply passion, when to communicate, when you're being manipulated, uh, making you aware of negativity and helping you to see your highest, lightest, and brightest decisions. So for more information on all of this, please visit my website at lphtarot.com as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.